look, when these intruders got into the house, right, um, they got into the house, she ran into the bathroom, Dumelo ran into the bedroom, Ntogosisi ran into the neighbor, Longwe ran out. So you are left with Makumalo, Kalikumalo, the intruders, and the deceased. So on the 2nd of October, you look, oh, Advocate Baloi, look, put it on, on record that there was, a, there was an application that you launched which was rejected. What was that application all about? Can you take us through? Uh, that application, is all, it was all about compelling okay. the NPA to charge those people who were in the house together with Ms. KK. I'm not compelling the court. Okay. Remember, I'm, I'm coming before the court to ask an order. I'm not telling the court, court, please charge these people. The Honorable oh, Court okay. cannot charge them, but the Honorable Court can give direction to say, indeed, the state, you must charge these people because there is a prima facie case against them. They can charge them with anything they want. Oh, it's, it's okay. unfortunate that that court, it refers me to the criminal court. I don't want to be seen as by members of the public disturbing the progress of that case. Oh, it is very important okay. that that case runs smoothly. Even now, I'm waiting for this trial within trial, which is a waste of time, according to me. Okay. Because they call uh, unnecessary witnesses. Once the court says they are done with trial within trial, it will need some days to make a judgment. Then in that day, those days, I'll try and file my application. I know the, the court might say no, but why you come to me? I cannot force a state to do that. You, it's a motion, it's an, it's an application. Okay. I do believe that I was in the right court. So in that application, you are telling, you are asking the, um, you are actually asking the state to include U sister Ke, Kelly Kumalo and her mother in this whole thing. How does it work? The application was to say, may the Honorable Court make an order on face value to say, Kelly, Ku, Kelly Kumalo and others who were in the house must be charged together with these five accused. Okay. You know why? Because there's a link. There's a oh, link. The, now I see. Uh, now I see. The, one of the witnesses. Now I see. One of the witnesses mentioned telephone conversations, a link between one of the accused and Which Ms. was KK. Colonel Lambasta Stein. Correct. From the South African Police Service. Yes. Now I remember, I remember. But now the state says. In this case, before the Honorable Court, they'll only make a determination once this, the case is finished and the court has found a credibility finding on okay. the witnesses. But now, if they are going to find a credibility finding, why they're not killing Kumalo as a witness? They're not calling her as a witness. Then they won't find anything against her. Ah. She'll walk scot-free. At the end of the day, the family of the deceased might not find justice. Remember, justice is two-way. Yes. Justice is not about the family of, of the accused. Yes, yes, yes. It's also about the family of the deceased or the victim. Oh, yes, yes. Administ I see. Administration I see. of I see. justice. I see. Administration of justice. If I was sitting in the shoes of the prosecutor, yes. tomorrow morning I wake up, I go to NPA and say, let me be a special counsel here. I'll include them on the charge sheet. The court can do whatever they, it wants to do with them. The Honorable Court is not bound by... Uh, me not including them or excluding them. If I include them, the court must listen to the evidence against them as well. Because there is indeed a prima facie case against all people in the house, either way or the other way. Because they, they, they might be charged with defending the ends of justice. Yes. Or administration of justice. Okay. What is administration of justice? Because defeating the ends of justice is clear. The administration of justice. You know, like now. Yes. The court is trying to administer justice. Okay. In this case. Okay. Defining the end is to divert the court from finding a correct decision ah, on the matter. I, that's the reason we have a lawyer here. Because <laughs> I didn't understand the difference. But now I know the difference. Mm. But then, my lawyer, please take us through. Please take us into confidence then. Some, sometimes, sometimes during the week I heard you saying there is a chance that uh, the Kumalos and everybody there might walk free. Uh, there's a chance that the five accused might be released 
and nobody gets charged at the end of the day. Like when I heard you that, I was like, wait a minute, what is advocate? Look, what is attorney look Tobane saying here? I'm gonna tell you um, that I heard somebody saying almost the same thing that you said to me when we had a conversation in that event, right? Can you please elaborate on that one? Because it appears like that at any given time, these people can could be released. I I will put it this way, not maybe released, but found not guilty because some of them that are saving sentences. Okay, okay. Some of them that are saving sentences, and I even heard that accused one and two, when they were arrested initially, it was about another case, not this one before the court. Yes. It was a case at end case. Yes. Um, I, I would say, for instance, accused, accused number two, it was for Nongoma case. Yes, Nongoma. Yes. And then I think accused number one, was it not drugs? I think I'm it was, not sure about I think it, it was drugs. It's something else. It's not about it. They only found them already arrested. Okay, yeah, continue. Yes, and then they put them in one basket. Okay. So basically, it means that, as I did say before, I'm afraid the family of the deceased might not find justice. Okay. Whether they found them guilty or not guilty. If they find them guilty, they'll be finding wrong people guilty. Whereas other oh, people are out there uh, okay. eating bananas. <laughs> okay, okay. And then if they, they found them not guilty, yes. those people who are supposed to, charge, to be charged, they'll say no, but they already found other people not guilty. Huh? Oh, okay, that will be, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. In, in contrast with the Constitution. You, 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 look, you can't arrest... Look, if, if, for instance, we say five people committed this type of an offense, right? You can't go, go again and arrest another five people when you already have five people serving that sentence. Is that what you're saying? Yes. The alternative is to bring them together in one, in one case, to administer justice. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't even have to arrest them. They must subpoena them. Okay, come, come to court. You are accused number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whatever. They can appear to they can appear in court without being arrested, like they can, they can, they, without they, being in the dock, like um, I they must be in the five. dock. If they appear in court, they must be in the dock. If they appear, in, if the court, the, the state issues subpoenas to them to say, I'm not going to bring a police van to put in the van and take it to the police station. Yes, but I give you a notice to say you are being an accused in this matter. Come and appear before the court. They add them. They How does it them work? In the case. Okay, continue. Let's say, for example, if someone has been arrested before and the matter got struck off the roll. Yes. Not finalized, struck off the roll, and the state said going to investigate further and they bring back the case. Yes. Logically, they don't have to go and arrest that person again. They must just give you a subpoena to say, come to court. Unless that person is aware that is, they want him or her to come to court and then he's dark and diving then they issue a warrant of arrest. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Because in this instance, they know where other people they stay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Just like uh, I, I found it very funny, in the matter of State versus Jacob Kelechik is Azuma. Yes. Before they were, he was charged, DA and others went to court against the NPA and Mr. Zuma to say, the court, we're asking an order for you to order the state to charge Mr. Zuma because we believe there's a prima facie case. It's the same thing. We believe there is a prima facie case. Oh. Why can't they charge them? Oh, I, so now I hear you. Now, so if it happened, Mozuma, obviously. We have a precedent. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. So yes. it, it, look, that, may, oh, that allows anyone in society to say, okay, wait a minute. We can actually decide to say, we want these people to come and answer. We believe there is a case against this one, two, three, and four. Therefore, they need to appear before court. Yes, but you cannot just do it. You must make an application. How do we do that application? You go to court, like I did, the yes. motion. You make, an, you make an application. I do believe with due respect that the Honorable Court erred on that point to say, I must go to the criminal court. Okay. Now, if I go to the criminal court, comparing it, it leads to where the instance whereby the court was already showing us the, the direction where it's going. Okay, okay. Remember, the Honorable Court must always be uh, neutral at all times. Yes. In terms of the 1928 case, Hepworth. Okay. 
<laughs> now you are reminding me of the church rat. Out of versus Hepworth. That's a very important case. Even in that case, the accused was charged with murder. Okay. And the, 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 the argument was that the court must cannot just sit there like a, 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 an empire. Oh, it must, it okay, must be okay. It must control the environment. Okay. It must make sure that justice is administered, administered fairly. Okay. For instance, I cannot go and call someone to say, come and testify, whereas I never gave the defense a, a, a statement of that person. Okay, okay. Before that person comes in, I say, eh, here's the statement. Okay. That's ambush, trial by ambush. It's just the trial by ambush because now it's violating the rights of the accused. If the, that person comes and gives me a statement, now I must go back and consult with the accused and I must change my defense. And the court will say, no, but you are unreliable. Why you keep on changing your defense? Oh. It starts there. It starts there by the state. That's why it's the state versus Chawala. It's very important that they provide us with copies of the docket before the trial starts. Then I oh. prepare the trial. I take instructions from the client. Uh, my client, okay. Okay. here's the case here. I have copies of the docket. Remember, an attorney is an agent. Yes. The attorney must not have attach personal, must not be personally involved in the case. You just take instructions and get instruction for the accused. Now, if tomorrow I wake up, I give the, 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 the defense a bottle of water to say, no, there's evidence here. But initially, they never gave me. Then I must go back to the, the uh, uh, accused, my client, to say, no, here's a bottle of water. Now they brought it. They, they're saying something about it. What's your defense? Oh. That's why it's very okay. important as okay. a defense lawyer, okay. when you go to trial, yes. you don't do admissions. Okay, okay. Admissions will throw you under the bus, especially when we deal with this kind of matter whereby the prosecutor in his official capacity. Yes. Not personally. I'm not at, I respect everyone. Yes. If I, someone respect me, I respect back. Okay. Back. But if someone disrespect me, I do the same. Okay, okay. I return the favor. <laughs> so the honorable prosecutor. Yes. He keeps on piling with documents. Even when the first trial, he was doing the same thing in his official capacity. It's not fair. That's not how the trial is run. Basically, this case before the court yes. is about the administration of justice. It's about how the jury system works in South Africa. So, wait a minute. Because we, 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 we see this thing, né? the defense um, being given documents, for instance, I, I don't know, I think a few days ago they were given a document like yesterday Whereas today they are supposed to cross-examine over that document, and Shololo then had to ask for an adjournment. And I remember looking at or reading people's comments, and they were like, "She's not a good lawyer. Why is she? Is she wasting our time?" And I'm thinking, I was thinking to myself, "Is it fair? How is it supposed to be done?" No, we do. When are we, when when are these documents supposed to be handed over to the local to the defense? Uh, we do respect to honourable. Advocate Mshololo. Yes. She's a good lawyer. Yes. People who say it's not good, they're wrong. They get it wrong. Okay. Remember, me and her we might not see an eye to eye there and there, but yes. she's good. The mm, point okay, is, okay. the point is, she used to be a prosecutor. Now she's a private attorney advocate. She knows the ins and outs of it. Oh, so, okay, okay. According to the Constitution and the Criminal Procedure Act. Yes. You cannot start a trial without giving the defense copies of the docket. Okay. And you cannot stand up before the court as the prosecutor to say, uh, your, your, your Honor, the matter is ready for trial. Okay. But now during the trial, you're still investigating, you still bring the document. It means you lie to court. You're lying to court. If, okay. I, was, if I was the okay. presiding officer, okay. I'll strike the matter of the role and say, State, go and get your house in order because you're not ready. How do you expect these people to, to formulate their defense? No wonder who advocate Mnis said that at a time, uh, he spoke about this concept of the train going towards Deben. He says that if they are given local documentation and everything that is needed, this train is going to move from Gauteng to Deben without a single stop. Yes. But if information is coming in drips and drops, then this train will keep stopping even when it is very unnecessary. And people get frustrated at the defense and they're like, oh, you, why are you asking for postponement? I'm like, what are they supposed to do? It's not the defense fault. 
I'm telling now is the state that playing a Stalin grand tactic. They are wasting time on this confession issue. They keep on piling documents on the defense. How do you expect me to prepare a trial if you don't give me documents? Then when you give me documents, I must change my defense. The court will say, no, you're unreliable. Why you keep on chopping, chop, ch chop and changing your defense? It's because of the state. The, 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 the problem starts with the state. So wait, the, look, there's this case, the judge that, look, the judge keeps referring to this case, ne? Uh, R versus Hepworth. Mm. What happened in that? Why is that case more or less like, um, it, it's like that case set a precedence for us. It's yes. like we're following mm. at the footstep of, the, on, of that case. What happened in that case? If you don't mind summarizing the certain state, key information there. The state is dominated litis. Okay. The state can say, no, I want to present this evidence to the court. Yes. And there's nothing the defense can do about it. But now oh, if, they, bring, if okay. they keep on bringing new evidence in terms of state versus Hepworth, 1928, oh. the famous one, before I was even born. <laughs> you were, you, were you also not born. No, 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 no. Probably. My mother of, was not even, probably, my mother was not even alive then. All of us were not born. 19, right in the center of apartheid, 1928 case. Ah, it's a classical case. Okay. It means that the court cannot sit down and fold their arms if they see there's something wrong happening. Okay. The court must be seen administering justice and justice must be seen to be done. Okay. Even the, in that case, the, the accused was charged with murder. Okay. But they wanted the court to keep quiet, not ask questions. They wanted the oh. court not to they wanted the court not to participate. They wanted the court not to only to take out red card and yellow card. But oh, now okay. the court, okay. if you do something wrong, say no. Even if you have a lawyer, even if you have an attorney, the court has the right to say no. Uh, the state, you are really embarrassing me. You are embarrassing yourself. Keep on mm. taking out documents in the middle of the trial. Why you said the trial is, the, is you are ready for trial, whereas you are not ready. You're busy investigating. Oh, okay. So, like, for instance, that issue of telephone records of Mr. Stein. Yes. With due respect, I've never seen them when we started the first trial. I've never heard of them. And I, I don't even think the, this attorney is the head of them. The, it, it was only introduced there and there. If they had those records, it was a good ground to charge Ms. KK. Because there's a link between accused number five and Ms. KK. But what are now, you telling me if, now? If Mr. Stain has the record with him and he never gave to, to the state, Mr. Stain must account. And then if Mr. Stain gave the records to the state, but the state never charged Ms. KK, the state must, be, must account. The prosecutor who's responsible for the matter must, be, must account. All of them, they must be charged. They can be charged with defeating the ends of justice. Oh, so they're misleading okay. the court okay. In, okay. Administer in administering justice. I mean, I have, I have, I have a record to say, no, uh, Mr. Tovano was moving here, yes. but I don't take it out. I keep it until when? I only take it out when it suits me. No, that's not how it works. So, in, 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 some, look, some other things, or what are, what are other things that we should know concerning the case uh, R versus Hepworth? Like, okay, we get that the, the, the judge is not just a mere empire. Yes. But I think in that case, there's more. It's, uh, it's funny enough, that case was during a, in the center of uh, apartheid, but that's how the constitution works in, with regard to that case. It means yes. there must be a fair and just trial. If the court can see, no, this one is doing the wrong way yes. and is misleading the court. Yes. The court has the right to say, no, you are, no, you are not doing the right thing. You are misleading us here. I cannot take advantage of your mistake to say, no, because you made mistake. I must run with that mistake. Okay. And the court will say, no, it's not how it works. But it's unfortunate that it only applies to the defense. It must also oh. apply to the state. Oh. It must also apply to the state. Okay. Because the state is the uh, dominatist litis. Yes. If the state is doing something wrong, it's hiding something, yes. and then it comes up in the middle of the trial, the yes. court must frown against that and oh. must question the state, why is the state doing that? Oh, so now, you know, okay, moving a little bit fast forward, right? Um, we're still going to go back and forth 
this is not in chronological order, right? Um, Ndanzi is in the cell, ne? in Albertin. He, he was booked out for the Nongoma case. And if I'm not mistaken, the records on, uh, like when he gets to Fosloras, he's booked in for Nongoma case. But the confession is for the Senzo Mayor case. What happened? Is there any legal ground to say there is more illegal activities that happened here? How did Ndanzi, he left Albertin police station, got to Fosloras uh, court uh, for the Nongoma case, but when he gets there, he's there to confess to a different crime. Even now, I'm still trying to figure out that. Is that not an indication that, mm -mm, man, something is fish here? Yeah, uh, that's tactics from the police. And with due respect, I must respect the court because they're still busy with the confession. Yes. The court must make a decision on that. Okay. What I can only say is okay. a confession of one accused yes. is not applicable against other accused. For in case, if we are two we are accused and I make yes. confession. Yes. They cannot use it against you because you never made confession. Oh, okay. So okay. at the end of the okay. day, the court must find out if everything was done proper. If it was not done proper, it will go the way, the way that the, the, the confession will be thrown out. For instance, the recordings. With due respect, we have direction here. Okay. It's okay. going to the dustbin. The recordings were not admitted. Okay. What was in the recordings? Probably it was the same thing that they are dealing with now. So the only way I think the court want, must find out was whether there was no duress. Duress can come in many ways. Okay. I can give you 250 down now and say, take my case, admit you are wrong. Uh, and then you take the money and then you admit. Okay. And it's finished of the finished. You just said finished. something there, but continue. Before so, I ask your questions. So, if I take 250,000 and I give you and we're together on this case and you say, no, give me 250, I'll take the blame. You walk free. Then it, that's duress. Okay, okay. That's okay, duress. Okay, okay, okay. The most important thing is, I only mention a few after what they already been testified because it's in the public eye. Yes. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to interfere with the court decision. Yes. Um, what I can say is that why same officers who took out confession. Yes. Why it had to be someone far away after hours going to that person to take confession? Why it had to be that person? Even uh, Council Mshololo did ask, or I'm not sure if it's Mshololo, I think it's uh, Council Mgomez who asked, why are you always on duty? Why did they always come to you? Oh, yes, yes, I remember that question. Case, the, I remember uh, that metro question. Metro officer. And I remember this question. He said, he said, because we have a, a history. Yeah, there's a, some trust, what, what, so what, That's what. very bad. That's very bad. And, uh, you know, uh, look, once we are there, ne, the question that I had when he said that, I was like, okay, wait a minute. Are you not telling me that hmm. we're not supposed to be trusting the hmm. others or the hmm. others hmm. are less trusted? But mind you, we are talking about police here, people who took, a, who took an oath to defend the constitution or to make sure that if we are found on the wrong side of the constitution, they book us, you understand? Mm. That's their aim, is to defend the, the constitution and keep peace in this country. So are you saying to me that there are members within police that are not to be trusted, others are to be trusted more? That's how I interpreted the statement. Yeah, what I can say is that in each and every profession, yes, everywhere, in life, for in case a coin got two sides, yes. a coin. Each and every good thing, it brings bad things out of it. Even that thing is good. Yes. There are bad lawyers, they are good lawyers. Okay. There are bad police, they are good police. I don't want to go to the uh, presiding officers, but <laughs> the fact of the matter, there are two sides of the coin. I, I must respect the... Why do you fear them? The judiciary. The judiciary. <laughs> I must respect the judiciary, but okay. what I'm saying okay. is, each and every good thing, yes, people get uh, make bad thing out of it. Even though things that I must tell you, the the the, the constitution of South Africa is the best, is the number one on the earth, on world. Yes, but 
people take advantage and use it for their own sake. They look for the loopholes. Mm, okay. You understand? Okay. For, okay. A, for, a, for a typical example, in, the, in, the, in our government, yes. the, the administration is good, but it depends whom do you put there. Ah. You can have good government, but it depends who's there, who's administering that system. Okay. Speaking of administering the system, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. So, um, I, I, look, as a tribe, we've got a WhatsApp group, right? Yes. And that WhatsApp group, there was an advice, or there was a suggestion that, one, I'm going to start with the letter. So I received some numerous calls and WhatsApp, look, WhatsApp messages saying, we need to write to the president. And then I said, no, man, I'm going to be with Ateni at Toban. He probably will explain this better. Is, are we not gullible to even now want to, wanting to write to the president? Is say, it even I, procedural? I, I, I say what? And ask the president to say, listen, Mr. President, uh, we are seeing this type of injustice in this country. Please intervene and make sure that justice is administered to the Mayua family and to these five accused. That's where they were coming from. Okay. Um, remember, one of the state witnesses wrote the letter to the president to say, can you fast track this case? Yes, 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 I remember. And the president says, I'm, I, I'm not supposed to be seen <coughs> interfering in court system or in the work of the police or the work of the court. Okay. The president, he must not be seen interfering. Mm. Who knows, he might be interfering behind, <laughs> behind the... Uh, behind, uh, Behind our back or under the under the carpet, but, but it must, must not, not be, be seen. seen. So you, okay, okay. So I don't think it will be proper for you to write a letter to the president. You will answer the same way. You oh. say I'm not supposed to. You, you don't say I'm not. I'm not. You don't say I'm not. You say I'm not supposed to interfere. Oh, okay, okay. So what we can do? We can do a petition. Okay. And then we support that petition. I'm, we make an, another application yes. before the Honorable Court. Yes. But however, I'm very, I'm very careful not to disturb the Honorable Court in this trial. That's why I'm mm. trying to wait for the, this confession to get finished. Okay. Then I make an application. Because we must not, we must, we must not seem to be interrupting the court. Oh, because okay. remember, we want, we want justice. Yes. And justice oh, also include, okay. justice okay. also okay. include okay. the time period. How long the matter takes. Okay, okay. So wait, so let's talk about petition. But I like this point that you just you look you you you, you just made now to say uh we must not interrupt that. And sometimes it, it comes from a good intention, you know. We just want things to be done the way we think things should be done, right? Mm. Only to find that it's not. Now let's go to the petition then. Uh there is a motion or there's a plan in there's a plan. To say let's draft the, 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 the look um the petition uh, in fact I, I can say that it's 80 percent done how like my, my, my concern was how do we draft this petition and make sure that it is delivered to the right people and how do we deliver this petition you, to court like when you make an application yes. this motion that petition petition will be attached to say here's the people Oh, okay. I'm here coming before the Honorable Court on behalf of these people. Okay. They want the justice in this matter. Okay. We're not saying anyone is guilty. We're yes. not saying so. We're saying there's a prima facie case. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Based I see. on the facts before the court, yes. the court must make a decision. You cannot tell me that you, you'll wait for the credibility finding of the court, of the witnesses. So you're, you're ready, the trial is unfair in the sense that the witnesses will lie to face their, to, to save their face. How can I go to court and then mm. not lie so that I must go to jail? No. It means <laughs> I must protect myself. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's unfair. That's unfair trial to say to the court, no, credibility findings will determine whether we charge them or not. So you're saying to them, go in there, I throw in the deep end, save yourself. Oh. So it's better if they charge them together. Okay, so going back to the, the issue of a petition, you are saying, if we are to draft this petition, right, we ask the Honorable Court to at least include um, one, two, three, and four mm. to the list of people that must come and answer before the Honorable Court. 
Is that a good idea? It's a good in idea. In terms of the petition? Yes. So uh, the okay. only thing is, remember, we are not, we are not uh, ordering the court. We're asking. We're making an application. Yes, okay. It's our prayers yes. to the Honorable Court. Yeah, we are paying. We are ordering the, 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 the NPA. Oh, okay. okay and we, okay. we pray for a, a, an order, an court order. That's to say, mm. with due respect, Honorable <laughs> Court, based on what these facts, <laughs> May the state include these people on the chat sheet or on the indictment. Okay. Because we are living under constitution, we are living under the, the constitution uh, state. Yes. So we don't take law into our own hands. Oh, people, people, yes, yes, people yes. Okay. Can, okay. People can go out on the street and protest. Yes. But they must know one thing the court cannot be influenced by what people are doing. The court must be in a sober mind when they come to a decision. And that's why we always go. We, we always go to court to ask uh, for justice. That's why sometimes we refer. Oh, we, nice. we, we refer to honourable judges to say justices, justice. Oh, we come. We come okay, before the okay. court to seek justice. People they can make noise and scream and do whatever they want. They say, Mister Gelelekisa Jacob Zuma is wasting time. Is playing Stalin grand uh, tactics when he's going to court. He's applying his rights. Remember, instead of him taking the law in his in his own hands, yes, he wants to court to make a decision. Court, please help me here. Can oh, you make a decision? Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, the court okay. make a decision. Okay. And then if the court says no, uh, Mr. Who, Mr. O, you are wrong. Yes. Then you have other options. You either review or appeal. You don't go and spend the court or go and protest and ban the police cars. You don't okay, do that. Okay, okay. To protest, you can protest, but don't cause damage. Oh, so in other words, you are saying the petition is a good idea, but let's understand the objective behind the petition. Yes. The it's court not can, to no, force the court. No. It's to, to pray, to ask the court. Remember, the court says, no, you know, look, you are in the wrong court. Even this horrible court, which is busy with the trial now, yes. it might say, no, you are at the wrong court. Me, I'm busy with the trial. Yeah, you want to disturb me. Uh, I, I, I want to concentrate on the trial. Uh, the, oh, the, yes, yes, The Honorable yes. Court can say... Oh, yes. Uh, the Honorable Court can say, no, I don't want to take that decision because it will lead to other people thinking otherwise before I even make judgment. Oh, all right, so all right. go to another court and make that application. Once that court grant the order, <coughs> then you come to me, here's the order. Then the order is it's not for the court, remember. Okay. It's for the state. The yes. prosecutor. Oh, okay. That okay. order that say, charge mama, charge Mr. Mama, charge who, who is for the state. Oh. It will be given to the NPA to say, charge these people, not the court. The court doesn't charge people. It is unfortunate that in the matter of DA and versus Zuma and others and, and, and uh, NPA, on that one, with due respect, the court uh, interfered with the uh, separation of powers. Okay. The okay. court cannot uh, cannot interfere with the uh, with the duties of the NPA. Okay. On that one, it set a bad precedence, and we're going to use it. Like what what we're doing now, we want to up, uh, uh, to ask the court order these people to charge these people because there's a prima facie case. Okay. I mean, they, can, they they cannot they might not even charge them with charge them with murder. They might charge them with defeating the ends of justice. Or something else. But we want them to come before the Honorable Court and answer, answer for a questionable behavior yes. that was revealed through the proceeding of this trial. Yes. Okay. Now, I see. So, as community, then, how do we achieve that objective successfully? Because I'll give you an example. It's easy to just design a petition, put it online. It's there on Google. People can access it can sign it. But then from there, how do I get my my grievances delivered to the right door? You need to instruct an attorney. Attorney will draft that motion okay. and take it to court. That attorney, based on the instructions of the client, the attorney will might instruct an advocate. Remember, it's not the attorney who pays the advocate. Yes. It's the client. Yes. If the client wake up tomorrow and say, no, I want Mr. X as my advocate in this case. Yes. I'm a, I'm a, and then he pays and pay the, the advocate. Yes. Then the attorney is obliged to appoint that advocate. I cannot stand up tomorrow and say, no, I want Mr. Advocate X, whereas I was not instructed. But wait, wait. 
um, I'm getting lost a little bit here. Let's say we are drafting this and we just want the honorable court to consider, uh, or I'm making an example, to consider Ukele Kumano, to consider uh, her mother, and please bring them before the honorable court because we have heard them being mentioned here and here and here we've got a proof. We, have, we believe that anything that is said under oath is the truth. Yes. So based on what have said, what has been said under oath, take for instance, uh, I can give an account. I, this one, so passionate about it. Number one, um, Zandi Kumalo in her testimony, she gives us a story that, look, when these intruders got into the house, right? Um, they got into the house, she ran into the bathroom. Dumelo ran into the bedroom. Ntogosisi ran into the neighbor. Longwe ran out. So you are left with Makumalo, Kalikumalo, the intruders, and the deceased. So the two are not just witnesses, but they are eyewitnesses. If you are talking about people that have know and have seen Senzo Meiwa being shot, these two people. But unfortunately, we heard oh, Advocate Baloy saying, no, the state does not intend to call eyewitnesses. Now, let me, let me put it a little bit further, push it a little bit further. At the hospital, or before the hospital, driving to the hospital, there was uh, Kelly Kumalo getting into the BMW, driving this BMW to Butsalom Hospital, flying to Butsalom Hospital. When Senzo May at Butsalom Hospital, when Senzo Mayor was declared dead, she took the necklace, the watch, and the earring. From, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, right? But from, from where I'm standing, judging from this, ne, Zandi Kumalo is less of a witness compared to Kelly Kumalo. For me, Kelly Kumalo is more, I would be more interested to have Kelly Kumalo than Zandi Kumalo. But in this case, the state have more interest in having Zandi Kumalo instead of Kelly Kumalo. Do you get my point? So as a public, then we are, we are like, no, 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 no. This person must come in account. Why are you excluding an eyewitness? We want this eyewitness to be called before court and explain what happened. We want, as a public, are we going, are we, look, so when we draft this, this petition, right? So we draft this petition, we give it to, look, okay, so we, let's say for instance, it get 10,000 signatures. From there, is there an amount of money that we're going to pay? I don't know, I'm just, because I, don't okay. know, I know nothing about justice. Okay. Um, <coughs> you remember I, what I said? I said the state is Dominguez Litis. Yes. The state always pays their cuts on their chest. Yes, yes. So they can, if they can see this witness, it's going to throw our case under the bus. Mm. They don't call the witness. <laughs> but now, they are facing R versus Hepworth. Okay. R versus Hepworth says the Honorable Court must make sure that justice is administered and that justice must be seen to be done. Okay. If there is a prima facie case to answer for Ms. KK, yes. they must answer. And the court can say, uh, state, I make an order that call Ms. KK as a court witness. And then if the court doesn't do that, the defense has the right to say, no, give us her. Let her be our witness. Okay. Then, then, then when they call her, they declare a hostile witness. Because you know, she will be hostile anyway when they call by the defense. Okay. It won't be the defense witness. But now the court has a duty to say, uh, you are not going to call Kelly based on the evidence that is being led already. Yes. Before you even give, we cannot give judgment. The court must the one is the one that must give judgment. Yes, Whatever, yes, yes. Uh, Kelly, uh, uh, Sandy said in court, let's wait for the judgment. But yes. what I'm trying to say, on the face of it, on face value. Yes. Remember, prima facie means face value. Okay, okay, so okay. The court can say no. You say this uh, like this English. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, order, I make an order that the Kelly Kumalu must be a court witness okay. in terms of R versus Hepworth. And then if the court doesn't do that, the defense also has the right to say, we're asking for Kelly to come and be our witness. 
Okay, but then let's, let's go to this one then. And the issue of, yeah, let me answer you. On the issue of yes. payment, uh, all these things. Yes. You know, uh, uh, going to court is an agreement between an attorney and a client. Okay. Obvious, there are fees to be paid to go to court. Yes. For an attorney to go to court, they must, it must be paid. Okay. For an attorney to draft documents, it must be paid. For attorney to stand up there being lambasted by a, a presiding officer, must be paid to take the hit. Oh, okay. okay. So sometimes attorneys, they don't want to take the hit. They say, no, I instruct advocate on, based on the instructions from the client. Oh, if, the client okay. if the client can have resources to pay the advocate, the attorney will instruct advocate. Okay. That's the fees that are there. Mm. But now, uh, there is also what they call uh, costs. Okay. In a motion proceeding, yes. there is costs. Yes. But in this one, in the criminal matter, normally the court doesn't grant cost against the losing party. Oh, okay. The, the, there's a rule that says cost follow the winner in this motion. All right. If they dismiss my application, yes. I must pay the costs. All right. Sometimes it's a cost on, on, on attain and plan scale or party to party scale. Okay. Party to party scale is a simple cost. So on, on attain and client scale, it depends how much the client is being paid and how, how, where, how, the seniority of the attendee as well. Okay. But then, um, in, in this case, right, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, what should people do? You know, give, give, just give us your opinion as a legal, I'll call you, I'll call you a legal expert because you, know, you have walked uh, this path. In the LPC. Yes. We, uh, there's a standard procedure where when you charge a client. Yes. There is tariffs. If I spend an hour with you, yes. there's a price for that. Okay. If I spend uh, two hours, there's a price for that. Okay. If an advocate spent four hours in court, yes. there's a price for that. If an advocate mm. spent the whole day in court, there's a price for that, depending on the seniority. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So if I try, I spend forty five minutes consulting with you, yes. it's not forty five minutes. It's an hour. We round it off. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. So on the issue of uh, the people, yes, because they are fighting for justice, yes, and their their, their rights, constitutional rights, yes. Normally, the courts will ask, "Is there any constitutional right on this matter?" They will raise the case of. Uh, what do you call it? I'll tell you now. They, they that deal with the uh, with costs. There's a matter that a uh, case law that deals with costs. Please uh, teach us. And then if you 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 can raise the issue of constitutional right. Yes. Normally, if you lose the case, they don't issue costs against you. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Mm, okay. So it's doable. It is doable. What if we instruct you to go for us? Remember. It is doable, and when you go to court, yes. we humble ourselves. Yes. We're not going to go and stand in court and scream and make a do-it -do inside the court. Yes, yes, People yes. are allowed to protest outside as long as they are doing it in the confinement of the law. Yes, yes, which is not to damage yes. property, yes. object or yeah. obstruct traffic and all the Remember, stuff. there's a constitution, and there's section 36 in the constitution, limitation clause. Okay. So okay. we need to respect the rights of others. Yes. If I want my right to succeed, I must respect that. I have the duty to respect your right. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. If someone respect me, I respect back. But <laughs> same as this, if someone disrespect me, I return the favor. Okay. Yes. So it is doable. But if you instruct, it's up to you guys whom do you instruct. If you instruct me, then I'm available. But it, and then I will take instructions from you guys if I must get the help. If you want me to instruct advocate, I, you must give direction. Okay. Because. Uh, but it comes with cost. Yes, the advocates. They, they remember advocates. We normally we they, we they say we lawyers we are clerks of the advocates. Oh, okay. okay we prepare okay. documents. We know the file up and down, in and, in mm. and out. We give the file. We give the advocate a brief to say, uh, Mr. X, advocate X, go to court and run this matter on motion. We make an application to compel the state to charge Miss X and Y. Then okay, the advocate okay. will read the, the, the brief. It's a brief. He read the brief and he ask for a file. He peruses the file. Okay. Okay. And then 
wait a minute, there's something I forgot to tell you guys. And that is, you cannot watch this video thus far and you are not subscribed. Guys, that's unfair. You know, hit the buttons. <laughs> Subscribe. I almost say it's unconstitutional. <laughs> it is unconstitutional. <laughs> They're violating their own rights. It's, it's for free. <laughs> Jay, Jay. You know, I always say if a person cannot commit to look, you know, to simple things such as subscribing, Just liking, liking, commenting, guys, God. it's not charge. If a person is failing to commit in some things that are free, no, then not, are you are not worth committing in a relationship. He's not even saying join. He just says <laughs> subscribe. Which is free. Yeah. Ah, come on. Mahala. Even the lawyer have told you, I put it to you. <laughs> to you subscribe <laughs> now. Right. But then, um, let's get into this one then. Um, you, uh, look, what what do you have in mind concerning the Senzo Meiwa case and how do you wish, as an, as an attorney, how do you wish because we've been there, you've we've walked the path. What's your greatest wish? Let me ask that question. What's your greatest wish? My greatest wish is to find justice and closure in this matter. Okay. Justice comes in many ways. Okay. The family of the deceased, they need justice. Yes. The accused, they need justice. Okay. If you put wrong people in the box, obviously, there will be no justice. Mm, okay. And that if you put the wrong people in the box and there are the people who are supposed in the, to be in the box, yes. even the family of the deceased don't get justice. Mm, okay. For example, you put wrong people in the box and you keep on piling documents and at the end of the day the court says, no, this accused are not guilty and they are discharged on this case. Mm, okay. Then that's the end of the case. Then you want to stand up and say, no, I'm going to charge Miss X now. Miss X will say, no, but how do you charge me? Because these people are already found not guilty. You are violating my constitutional right. Mm. It's a double jeopardy. Mm. You fail this side, you want to come this side. Mm. You see, mm. if I'm the prosecutor, I'll put them on the line, all of them. The court will decide who's guilty or who's not guilty because there are different charges. The court will decide whether you are guilty with uh, defining the ends of justice, you are guilty with uh, robbery, you are guilty with whatever murder, we are guilty. There are different charges they can put against the the people in the house as well. Hmm. Okay. It's, on, it's not only about murder. There are so many charges they can put against those people who were in the house. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, look, uh, look, because now let, I want to go to you now. I read your bio in the, there's one on your YouTube as well. Yes. Right. I read your bio. You said that you are a lawyer, you cover a lot of things, but you specialize in. I'm a GP. General practitioner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm it means GP. that the tribes, as they are watching this video, they have a lawyer at their disposal. So how do they call you? I mean, how do they contact you then? But uh, to be honest, I might be a GP, but as a person, you must specialize sometimes. Okay, okay. And I just want to put it on record. Um, people are watching and upcoming students want to be lawyers yes go to commercial law is very important when we did law we were compelled to go to criminal in actual mm. fact we were not even we we're not even allowed to do law i did ba law and then i, I diverted you know okay. they say okay. the government of the day say no they want this number of people in this university oh, during our okay. day say, no, they want okay. this number of the people in to do this and you don't do it, I divert it. So there are so many interesting branches of law in South Africa. Yes. There is environmental law, there is notary, there is convincing, mineral mm. law. Okay. You can do criminal law, but don't rely on it, honestly speaking. You can do commercial law and criminal law, but yes. make sure that you have something else doing as well because mm. Okay. We must be, we must accept, we must accept that people are indigent. People are indigent. They don't have money. <laughs> Lawyers they need money to go to court. Yes. Don't don't make mistake. Don't ever take an angry lawyer to court. Don't take a, a hungry lawyer to court. No. What don't do happen? that. Sometimes you have a client who says no. I have instructions. You keep on postponing paying. Oh. Then you make the lawyer angry. You make the lawyer hungry, 
but you expect the lawyer to defend you. But now, based on the oath the lawyer took, once that person appears and stands up in front of the court, you will fight for your cause, whether you paid him or not. The mere fact he stands up and talks before the court. For a typical example, the accused before the court, I don't blame them. They said, no, we are innocent. Why must we pay so much? They were keep on postponing to pay. The way I was fighting it as if they were paying a lot. No. They were keep on postponing, but the mere fact I stand up before the court and address the court on behalf of a client, yes. I have the right and duty to protect the rights of the client. Huh. I'm teaching the public to know this. Oh. When you have a lawyer, having okay. a lawyer, okay. having a lawyer, okay. having a lawyer, doesn't mean you are not guilty or you are guilty. You must, you, the, the public must know that. Okay. The duty of the lawyer is to protect the rights of the accused. Ah, you, you offer service okay. to the accused. Remember, it's not the lawyer who's making a judgment. Yes, yes, yes. It's the honorable court. The lawyer stands up there and fight for the rights of the, of the client. Okay, okay, okay. But, but the most important thing, don't be personal as a lawyer. Because <laughs> if you get personal, <laughs> you lose direction. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. In this case of yes. Senzo Mewa, yes. may his soul rest in peace, it changed how things are done. Now, yes. the defense, they must prove their innocence beyond reasonable doubt. <laughs> it's not how it's supposed to be. The state must prove its case beyond reasonable doubt. The defense needs only a slight doubt, must just create a doubt, a slight doubt. Oh, okay. Not even more than a percent, <laughs> just a slight doubt. Like the one I'm already having. There must, when, there must be a doubt. To dance, see, like, honestly speaking, I'm like, wait a minute. He left Arvatin going to court for the Nongoma case. That's right. He I'm... arrived there for the Nongoma case. Then when did it change? When did it become a bond? That's why I'm, I'm saying to you, um, as a lawyer, don't be personal. Personal. For in case in this matter, yes. the, the, uh, the legal representatives who are appearing now, yes. they went to prison behind my back, consult with clients, knowing that I'm doing the case which is unethical. Yes. Which is unethical, but I said, no. This case is not about me. Yes. This case is about administering justice. And I let it go, I kept quiet. And I don't want to hear someone who says, uh, this lawyer is bad, this lawyer is good. Okay. Advocate, senior counsel, Mshololo, she's doing her job. Yes. Her level best. Yes. She's doing her level best. Okay. And there's no one who says it's perfect, 100% perfect. I'm yes. also not perfect. Yes. I have my own my, my mistakes. No person is perfect on, in life. Yes, yes, yes. No I one agree. is perfect. I agree. But I cannot blow my own horn. That's true. That's true. And as a person, you'll never have 100% people liking you. There are those who don't like you. There are those who like you. But because we are running out of time, you haven't given me your contact details. Because somebody might be seeing you here, and I'm like, okay, I've seen advocate look at Tony Toban. Uh, um, I think at some point you make remarks, which I'm not sure if I should say them now. But one of the remarks, besides the comments, right? Because you've been in look in my comments, and that's when I noticed, man. I saw your profile picture. I was like, this guy is a lawyer. Mm. I was like, this guy is okay. a lawyer. And then I viewed the profile picture. I'm like, yeah, man, I remember this guy. Okay, my contact details, <laughs> I'm going to give the ones which are under LPC. Okay. It's 078-139-6532. Uh, okay. I'm available anytime, as long as I'm not busy in court. But it, 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 nowadays we have WhatsApps. Yes, yes. Can but assist can you lot. say it again? 078-139-65-06. Yes. 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 No. The, uh, it, it, sorry for that. No. You know, I wanted to, I nearly forget this. It's very important and the public must be aware of it. Yes. In our uh, judicial system, we have the Minister of Police and Correctional Services. We have the NPA. We have the state attorney. We have the Minister of Police, the police. They have a cluster where okay. they sit all of them. They discuss. Okay. okay. They have annual uh, monthly meetings. They discuss. As a private attorney, there is someone there inside those departments who is having my file, looking after my file, to check what is Tawani doing. 
Oh, okay. They even okay. go to the extent of going into, into our personal lives and interfering in our personal lives. How in so? In our family life. How so? I'll give you this example. It's all correctional service, dependent of justice and correctional services. It's dependent of justice. LPC is under justice. Mm. Our files, they personally have our files, not from LPC. They profile us. Ah. When I stand up there before the court and argue with a state prosecutor or state yes, yes. advocate, behind me they'll say, no, this one doesn't know that I'm watching him. Yeah. It's even yourself. This is a dirty game. Even yourself. There's someone who's having your file profiling you. Then I know. In terms, I know. Of, in terms of prevention of organized crime and yes. combating of Corrupt Activities Act. Oh, okay. As we sit like this now, yes. there by the by Silver Ten. Yes. Silver Ten. You know where Silver Ten? I think I Next know. to there is NPA and there's two streets away, there's Hawks. Yes. Director a uh, priority of uh, Directorate of Priority Crimes Investigations. Yes, yes, yes. They work to as a team. There is someone who's now having your looking at you, what you're doing. Life, lifestyle audits. Lifestyle audits that is not only done in okay. uh, it's only done, it's not only done for politicians. It's done for everyone. But it depends. Look, but yes. wouldn't you say maybe it depends um, who you are in society? No. It, it, like maybe you're, they you're, profile you're, 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 you. Yes. Yes. They your, your footprint in society. For, they, prof they profile like, I mean, you. Wh they profile why, why would you profile a guy who's sitting in a shack? No. There's, there's, <laughs> there's this guy. There's this guy who works for correctional services. Yes. Uh, he, he, he said. You know this guy who's got your car outside there? Yes. This guy knows you in and out. We can tell him, he can tell us where you are now. He can, we can go to that person and send him to you and do this thing to you. These people who got, who got the cars outside. Yes. Those who sleep outside. Yes. They know, they know, they work with them. Intelligence department. <laughs> the spooks. So for example, you know, I was so shocked. Uh, last week I was in Johannesburg Ministry Court. Yes. Oh, this guy, they took out the emblem right in front of the court. They even they wanted to take out the bumper out. Right in front of the court. There's cameras there, but they just took it out. So what I'm trying to say is, he, whatever, we are, is whatever we are doing, we are watched. Yes. There is a big camera. But as long as you do things accordingly. Hey, we are scaring us, though. As long as you do things accordingly. <laughs> You're scaring us. You're scaring us. <laughs> You're scaring us. That's long, as long as you do things according to the book. Yes. We are okay. Okay. So, um, look, in my closing, right, the, um, I think about four, four cases that, 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 can, that, that comes to my, my mind right now, right? There is this company, uh, the big media company, they fire people, they fired people for non-vaccination, right? And then uh, people are busy sending me those documents, right? And proof of everything that they've got, they got fired. Even now, right now, mind you, vaccination is not, it's non-mandatory. But mm. in that company, you can't get in without vaccination, right? Then the second story that I have, uh, there's this lady, I think she's from Val. She got arrested and it was like proven later on that uh, she did not kidnap her own daughter or something like that. You understand? Uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for something. I need to release a story. And then the fourth story as well, or the third story is this lady who got hired in a certain a printing company. And then the boss was on her case wanting to uh, sexually harass her. But the fourth story, it's the one that Namanja, I don't know. Yeah, this story. So they are in Cape Town. There's this couple in Cape Town. So they had a daughter, like a, a child. Now, the child was taken away. I haven't gotten the full story. I asked them to send the story, but it's because I'm busy myself. It's, I can't blame them. It's because because of me. Uh, all the stories that I've told, I've told, I've told, I've told you about, I haven't done them. Not because of them. It's because of me. But the stories, some of them are already written to me. This couple, then after a couple of time. I think about two months down the line, they are, look, they, 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 look, what happened is that they are, they are, they, they, this, this child died. 
and they were told that it's natural death. But after, look, upon observation of this block of the body or the physics of the child, they said, no man, there were some bruises there. And mind you, this is just a two months, two months old baby. Mm. And the, the family, it's young couple, like seriously young couple. They are say, the, the, these people are saying, you know what? We've been taken from pillar to post. We are trying to get justice, but these people are just seriously avoiding us. What's your advice? Who are, who are, let me start with the last one. Who is avoiding them? They went to the police, the reported the case. the case, but the police just don't give a damn, not even a swimming pool. Cape, in, Cape Town police? Yes, they are in Cape Town. Yeah, I think they must escalate it to the child unit. They must take it to national office as well. Okay. Yes. And they would get to the, the issue of um, the one in, uh, in, in, uh, where the, 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 the employer wants to harass her. Yes. Did she open a case? Yeah, that, that one, she opened a case. That one is not a matter of maybe it's now with police, the guy got arrested. Mm. But she wrote it so that I can make an awareness. Okay. Maybe you need, look, you need to advise this too. But the lady in Val, I haven't gotten the full story. The one who got arrested, she even went to prison. But she came back and like, now it's, how long people did, can... Where, did, where, 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 how long she, she was in prison? Uh, I don't know, but I, uh, I know she will watch this video. Is the case video. finished? Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. If they, they've withdraw, withdrawn charges against her, yes. maybe we can take uh, make a civil claim against her. We have to look at them. the merits, yes. Okay, okay. And um, with regard to the issue of this one of uh, COVID. Yes. Uh, they are not allowed to force people to vaccinate while they are already employed there. Because initially their contract was not saying anything about vaccination. Mm. But now, maybe they might have changed their contracts when people, new people come in, yes. they want to get employed. They must read the contract and it talks about vaccination. Yes. So they are allowed oh, to do that. All right, so all right, based all right. on the previous contracts, who people, yes. people are already inside the employment, yes. according to the government, they cannot force them to vaccinate. Mm. Yes. So what should they do? Let's they should run. use the WhatsApp number. Let's run with them. So they, they should, the, they should yes. use the WhatsApp number? Yes. The one I gave now. Okay. I get through you because they know you. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I need now they've got the WhatsApp number, so yes. they should just go straight to the lawyer. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I brought the, I brought the lawyer here. So mm. should we have more problems? And if my lawyer is available, I don't worry, guys, I'm going to trouble him. If we have other problems, yeah, just keep writing. And then he's here. We will trouble this lawyer and make sure that we get what we want. Uh, from Senzo Mayewa case, going into all the other cases, you know, it's not just about Senzo Mayewa case. People have asked me not just to focus on the Senzo Mayewa case, but just to broaden this. So let's trouble this man. This man must be troubled. So I am going to trouble the man. You keep writing the stories. I'm going to keep referring to the local, those stories to this man. So you and I guys will meet in the next video. But until that next video, he want to say his last words, then I will say my goodbyes. Thank you very much. Uh, you remember this issue of fundraising yes. on the Senzo Mewa case? Oh, yes. What I can say is when we, we raise funds, yes. and there are funds in that trust account or whatever we're going to put them, whatever, we must do things in accordance with the law. They must not have something against us. It must be within the law. Those funds might also, might also be used to assist the disadvantaged and indigent people in the society. If there is extra funds available there, wherever it will be put in whichever account number, that funds can also be used to, to, uh, to address the malfaces in the society. Just okay. like you say now, they say you must not concentrate on, only on Senzo Mewa. It's not only about uh, this case. This case is not about that only. There are so many people who never got justice. Okay, now we'll, 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 we'll look. Because of time, right, mm -hmm. uh, we will sort the issue of uh, fundraising, right? Uh, if my lawyer is available, we will also, some other day, explore that option. Uh, right now, because of time, uh, we just need to end it here. Guys, I'll see you on the next video. Till then, please take care. Thank you.